and good morning. We are live here at the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in the Dome Theater. And this guy right here, the world champion of magic, says he can walk through this mirror. Uh, yeah, we're going to see if it can be done. And this audience here is going to be the proof to see if it can really happen. World champion of magic, Jason Latimer. We'll see if he can do it coming up. Wake up, San Diego. All right, let's head out to Renee at the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center. And uh, she's got a, a pretty darn good magician out there uh, well, who's teaching I mean, science and entertaining at the same time. Yeah, if you consider the world champion of magic yeah. a pretty good magician, <laughs> yep. yeah, we got the best this morning. Yeah, Jason Latimer, if you are a fan of Wake Up San Diego, you've seen this guy. He stole 19 bucks from me when I gave him a dollar, uh, a 20. He turned it into a one. Uh, I built this with it. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> We're in the Dome Theater. We've got an awesome live audience with us this morning. And what in the heck is going on with all the great illustrations here? These are actually on the wall and ceilings is the blueprints of the prompts that I actually have designed and worked throughout the years. And uh, all of these were deemed impossible by the, even the magic community, but a, t a little bit of a background in applied science actually engineered all of them. Okay, you are going to, this morning, take your applied science background and your love for magic and walk through this mirror. Right, right. Most magicians don't tell you what's going to happen before it happens. They feel it ruined the trick. Hey, why don't you come up here, Renee? Make sure it's solid. Okay, All right. They feel by letting an audience know what's about to happen, solid. the trick would be ruined. Uh, because the audience would get ahead of you. In my show, I want the audience to see beyond their answers, the illusion of knowledge. I want people to actually think about what can and can't happen, and what is and what is not possible. Now, with that, check out the back. Make sure it's solid. Is it solid? Okay. No, this side. Oh, <laughs> That's this right. back. Yes, and it's gonna it is happen. solid. It's going to happen right here. Okay. You are literally going to walk right through there. Yeah, through the front, mm -hmm. through the back. We've seen it from okay, all Okay, audience, do you think that he can do that? Can he walk through the mirror? What do you guys think? Do you think he's going to do it? I don't know. It looks pretty impossible. What do you think, bud? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, right, I well, am with I'll you. you what, this we'll looks this pretty right challenging. We're going to put this right here. Okay. Put this man next to make sure it's solid, okay. and I'll be right back. Okay. Keep an eye Ladies there, and, and think about this. Jason Latimer, what we're going to see what champion of magic. What makes it possible to happen? What would have to happen if somebody <gasps> wanted to walk through a solid object. What the heck? I know. A a any questions? Uh, uh, like five million. <laughs> How in the heck did he do that? I think I did. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm with you, too. I have no idea. All right, there do you have any idea? I, like that there's a panel in there somewhere? No, you, you can actually help, help me take it apart, Renee. Okay, what? now the great thing is about Jason, you're not going to leave wondering. He tells you how it's done. All right, uh, all so give us the 411. Done, all of it's done by asking the right question. My job is to inspire wonder and creativity in the Science Center. I have no magical powers. I'm just insatiably curious. That's not what the women say. No, I'm insatiably curious. <laughs> For that too, and, <laughs> and like all, all it came, all it came from is seeing past the illusion of knowledge. That's what the show is about: okay. seeing beyond the illusion. All right. Not just accepting. So how'd you do it? So how'd you get through the mirror? Good questions. Oh, are you saying we have to come to the show to actually find out? I'm saying that if you ask the right question, anything's possible. Okay. So all right. What's what's the right question to ask? Anyone have a good question to ask to know how? Okay. Yes. 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 What's the right question? What should we ask him? Um. How he went through solid matter. Okay, how did you go through solid matter? Take that, world champion of magic. One of the best things to think about is it's going to hinge in a different direction it can't, you know, hinge in a direction you can't tell or slide in a manner you can't see. But you're actually better, closer than I am. Okay, we are, they're telling me we have to go, but we will not leave you, San Diego. We will not leave you wondering. How did you get through it? The space, in, the most atoms are made of actually 99.9999 space. So if you get all the atoms to move over to one side, you can walk through any solid object. So if everyone named Adam can just move to one side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking with you. Well, guys. now I'm completely <laughs> clear on how it happened. I'm completely clear. Jason Latimer, world champion of magic, perception, see beyond the illusion. Come to his show, and you're going to be here at the Dome Theater, which you created, which you designed, till the end of August. Yes, every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 3.30 and 4.30. Oh, my gosh. Can we give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, this was amazing. Coming up next, we are going to see another live performance, and this guy's going to do some mind-bending tricks but he won't leave us hanging. We're live here at the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center. Pretty cool, Mark. You really think he's going to tell you how he did it? I do. We're going to tickle him <laughs> until we find out. Yeah, okay. All right. Thanks, Renee. See you in a little while.
All right, Amy, thanks. Let's head out to the Ruben H. Fleet Science Center where Renee is having her mind blown once again. <laughs> totally. Guys, good morning to you. I am hanging out with the world champion of magic, Jason Latimer, and he has an incredible show, Perception Beyond the Illusion, happening at the Dome Theater at the Ruben H. Fleet right now. And uh, Jason, tell us a little bit about this creation. This one's called Laser Fiction. It's the idea of what would happen if light became solid to interact with light. You can play with it if you like here. I like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can actually do some really cool things with it. Like uh, you can grab it and pull it around. And throw it through You're different a little seconds. late for Comic Con, my friend. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. It's kind of fun to play with. <laughs> to do different ideas of what we can do with light here at the ID at the Ruben A. Street Science Center. Pretty cool, right? It's amazing. Now you use applied science in addition with your magic to mm -hmm. blow people's minds. Yeah, I, I always tell people this all just happened because one guy just wanted to know if he could. So the idea was to inspire wonder to other people. Do you so, ever hurt anyone with that? No, 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 no. <laughs> but I was a little fascinated with Star Wars as a kid. That's yeah, for sure. yeah, <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. Okay, so coming up, you were going to show us the trick that you did that won you the title, the world champion of magic. Give us a little bit well, of the explanation. The idea is that the oldest trick in the book, the game of follow the ball, uh, was done, uh, there, no one said it was possible to do with clear glass cups. So I'm actually going to try to do it with clear glass cups. You can actually watch the ball vanish and shoot to another cup before No way. Okay, up. i got to ask our live audience here. Live audience this morning, do you think that it's going to be possible, what he did? No, oh, we got one guy going, uh-uh, no way. All right, do you like what you've seen from Jason so far this morning? Yeah. Okay. All right, he does get a thumbs up and a woohoo. So coming up, our live audience is going to be the judge, and we're going to see if this guy right here, the world champion of magic, can hold on to his title and do what everyone said was impossible. Laura, Mark? Okay, Renee, thanks. And I love that music. It really helps, the, the <laughs> mystique of it all. <laughs> Doesn't it? Mm. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, we'll see you in a little while. Head out to the Ruben H. Fleet Science Center where Renee is with a Master Magician on Magic Monday. This is really yes. cool. I mean, this is something really different for the Ruben H. Fleet. It really is. World Champion of Magic, 18 titles. That is how much Jason Latimer has won. You won't see him on any of the America's Got Talent or any of those shows. And Jason, tell us why that is. Well, I like to inspire wonder more than win a title. I, I think magic can be used as an academic tool more than uh, entertainment and to inspire questions and creativity. I love that, it. Yeah. I love it. No, this is the trick that you yeah. that helped you win one of your titles. Uh, yeah, one, at the World Championships. I competed at the World Championships, and I, I wanted to do the one trick that everyone said couldn't be done, which was the game of follow. And you said, oh, fooey. Yeah, the game of follow the ball under a cup. And I uh, decided to show them that this trick never existed before. And um, a lot of people said, uh, the follow the follow the ball under a clear glass cup could never be done. So I knew if you could find the right question, you could change that. And through studying applied sciences, I found a few questions that make that possible. Let's just tell the audience that you have a couple of very impressive degrees. Uh, my background's in economics, mathematics, applied physics, working in uh, perceptual psychology, and down below in chemistry now. Okay, and he also <laughs> does a little magic on the side. So all that background helps you do yeah, this. Yeah, like this one. Like the idea, the funny thing is, the answer to the physics question wasn't in physics. It was in perceptual psychology. What? Yeah, I know. It's one of those things where... <laughs> Uh, a lot of people thought that because the answer looks like it should be a physics question, nobody really wants to question their facts. We were standing too close to the chalkboard. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of crazy when you actually think about it. Taking advantage of certain ideas of what the human eye actually sees on its own allows me to actually get away with stuff that people would normally not expect. Okay, you started with one yellow fuzzy ball. How are there now three? Elementary magic. <laughs> <Elementary. laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. Here, I'll tell you what to look for. Keep an eye on this one. Okay, right? I'm keeping an eye. All right, now I'll give you something else to look at by moving my hands. That gives you movement, pulls you away from that one. By mo movement, flicker, or pattern, or repetition actually makes you get ahead of me. And that's how I predict on that. I actually predict my movements based off that. I'll do it to you again. You already know what's going to happen. I'm going to try to make all the balls go to one. Ready? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. We got one. We got two. Watch carefully. Whoa. Now we got zero. Okay. We got two. I'll give you a head start. We're okay. going to go from this one to mm -hmm. this one. Ready? Oh, my gosh. Mind blown. Blo my mind is blown. blown. Bits and pieces all over. Okay, we got a live studio audience this morning because we just had to see this for ourselves. Okay, so, buddy, I got to ask you, what in the heck do you think of this, and how did you think he did it? Magic. 
<laughs> I, I think that's right. I think that's right. How old are you? Nine. Nine. Okay. What are some of your best guesses to how this world champion of magic did this trick? Magic. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone have any ideas? Okay. Okay. Over here. Over here. We've got. We've got an answer. Yes. He had lots of hidden balls. Lots of hidden balls. I okay. I got, I got a good see. one for you. How about this one? Let's take a look at this one. Okay. Take a look at this glass. Yeah. And we'll just push it right through the bottom like that. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Lots of hidden balls. I like that answer. Anyone else? Okay. Oh, we got again. we got a possibility up here. Possibility up here. What do you think, bud? Um, just like he said, I think it's what he did was he made us focus on his movement of his hands. That way we're looking at that. Well, something else that he's hidden doing that we don't know about is happening. World champion of Magic Junior right here. I like it. San Diego, Jason has a show in town. It's at the Ruben H. Fleet Science Center in the Dome Theater. He created it. He did all the visuals that is up uh, all over the wall, and it is phenomenal. It's going to be till the end of August, and then he's got to wrap it up because he's got a little uh, show on the Sci-Fi Channel. Tell us about the show with uh, Penn and Teller. Yeah, I have a TV show coming out with Wizard called Wizard Wars with Penn and Teller and Kristen Gerhart. We're the judges on a magic contest that inspires creativity by giving magicians uh, random objects. Uh, hose, rocking chair, aquarium, and then they get put in front of a live audience and have to create a routine using those props to create new magic beyond a card trick. Wow, Jason Latimer, world champion of magic, and he's here live in San Diego at the Ruben H. Fleet Science Center. Come check it out, and you will be blown yeah. away as well. Laura, Mark? Guess who's got the Penn and Teller show? We do. <laughs> You're gonna watch it? Yeah. And you know, yeah. Renee, every, every good-looking magician needs a lovely lady on stage. He's got you right there. Yes. I will, I'll put your name in as a lovely no, lady that's assistant. You. That's you. I know people. Oh, me? Yeah. I don't want to be chopped in half. <laughs> no. It's all illusion. It's illusion. Oh, illusion. Maybe I should volunteer. It's the only way I don't lose weight. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. Thank Thanks. you, guys. Talk to you later.